very important to lean back <coughs> with people. Because if you lean back, then they're going to lean forward. This is a whole, this is the most important thing in your posture, in the stature you take with people. They'll feel it. You've got to get out of your own head that you need to make 2,000 points this month, and it's two days left, and you desperately need to make um, so this may not interest you at all, but if there were, you know, a new technology that could return the elastin levels in your skin to that of a 20-year-old, safe and proven at UCLA clinical trials, two millimeter punch biopsies every subject age 40 to 77 got that result. Now I'm going into way more detail than you need. Sneaking in a little product for you at the same time. So this may not interest you all, but if there were a new technology and product that would turn your elastin levels to that of a 20 year old, we could try it on you right now. Would you, would you give it a go? Those are the kind of, I know that we're only supposed to do TRA, 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 and that's the system. But basically, you're going to like, you, your job, we've got over 200 products in our catalog that appeal to a wide variety of people and not everyone who is excited about losing weight, which is the most important thing. And that's an easy thing to train and duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. But there, there's so many arrows in our quiver of health that you can take out and you can notch in someone else's bow and help, help them uh, shoot. So there are many, many different things I put in the basic qualifying question. I always have true face essence pearls with me. Okay. I always have a bottle of Vitality or R squared with me. I always have on my smartphone the mouse video. It may be a very good video. There's one called by John Sexsmith called What's If. It's still my favorite video. What's If? John Sexsmith, Jimmy O'Reilly. One of the best videos on the business. You should always on your smartphone have, have these resources at hand. And, and the three foot rule works. Now. Every flight I'm on, I'm talking to the person. And usually I'm asking, and the way I do it is by asking questions, to create curiosity. So let's go back to the five C's. The first one is, those of you who've done this and know this formula, what's the first C? For inviting? Compliment. Thank you. So it might be, Yenny, I've always admired the way you are so effective in your marketing. It's sincere. Then I create the curiosity. You know, Yeni, this may not interest you at all, but if there were a marketing company in the biggest, fastest growing field on the world, you could build an annuity income with your skill set without quitting what you're doing now to get good and ready. Would you take a good hard look at that? Yeah. Right? <coughs> so I'm creating curiosity. Then, of course, Yenny, who's desperate, just, who's so out of control on her time that she doesn't want to go to any presentation, no matter how fantastic it is. We're all really cautious on our time. Thank you for being here tonight. But that's what people are doing when they're being resistant. People show resistance, right? There's a number of reasons. One of them is just they're just they have no time. Their lives are out of control. Most people's lives are a little bit out of control. They've got way too much to do. Their to-do list that they haven't gotten to rattles in the hamster wheel of their mind all the time. So you're just like throwing more rocks in the hamster wheel. What? You want me to go, wait, you know, Thursday where, park mall, what? <laughs> so they're going to say, well, look, can you tell me about, can you tell me about it now? If you create curiosity, you got it up to a level here. What they're going to do is ask you questions. Can you send me? Can you just send me a, a link? Um, you know, I'll, I'll look it online. Don't do that. Okay. In the la it's the last desperate thing to send someone a link online. You need to get them to try it in person. So look, I can meet you. I can meet you at a Starbucks near there. I'll we'll, we'll do it. Have the pearls. Put it on their hand. Show them the mouse video. Show them this book. And you can explain with this book if you understand Joe Chang's book what epigenetics is. There's the, the, in the back are a couple of the, the exactly those, those color, those bar colored things I showed you on the screen. So you can in about 10 minutes at a Starbucks squeeze it in. Okay. 
but you, do, you don't want to then, right then, they're going to say, tell me everything now. Control yourself. You need to have a face-to-face. -face. Direct sales associations have surveyed the number one reason why people buy from network marketing is a chance to try the products. You've got to get them a product experience. In my, in my experience, today. without it, there's nothing happens. When you meet them in Starbucks, you bring them here, the death of the floor presentation that people use. By the way, we didn't. Who was the victim who got the half face? But she's out. But she's being closed. Excellent. Okay. okay. So you control yourself. You don't. You don't throw up all over. It. Oh, it's an epigenetic company. Uh, Twenty-nine years and done the breath training. Uh, control yourself. Say, I can't really do it justice. You got to hear Bionic Bob. You got to hear Duke, amazing Duke. You'll, you'll really. Uh, if you're serious about looking at this, why don't you hear from some of the informed? Then, so which is better, Thursday with Bionic Bob or Saturday afternoon with June Rent? Give them a choice of times. Okay? You never say, are you going to come? This is, this is, we're getting into basic, basic sales training. And these, the car salesman never says, I know in Singapore you don't buy cars. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so but the car salesman will never say, are you going to buy the car? He says, are you going to, you want that in red or blue? It's called a binary close. Now we are getting the sales jargon. Binary close is very effective. What's the most effective and most used binary close in retail? Will that be Visa or MasterCard? Get that all the time? That's a binary close. If they ask you, are you going to get it? You'd say no. They assume you're going to get it and ask, how are you going to pay for it? Isn't that effective? So you say, so, you know, okay, great. We're gonna we're gonna set you up with someone really knowledgeable. Which one's gonna which, which, you know, which is better for you, Thursday or Saturday. Now you're gonna be doing a massive invite. If you're really doing this business, you're gonna be inviting everyone on your name. And therefore and when you go through, you're gonna be inviting twenty people to either Thursday or Saturday. So you've got to free up both times. Which is part of like making time for this. In the beginning when you're going very, very fast. You've got to clear your schedule and have those sort of binary points in your schedule that you're going to be able to invite people. We talk about recruiting to events. And, you know, that's sort of, it's hard to binary when Nathan Ricks comes to town or Alan Nagal comes to town. Thank you for all the promotion you've done for humble me. I feel like a rock star. <laughs> it's really nice. Thank you. Um, so it's hard to say, oh, there's Bob, there's Bob. Well, that's why I always try to stay two nights. You notice on my schedule, if some of you got my schedule, I was here last night or tonight. So you could give people a choice of time. It respects their busy schedule. It shows that you understand how busy they are, even if they're not. Everyone feels busy, even when they're not. We respect that. So then the last thing you have to do is, great, so Thursday at Park Mall it is. So how do you get a commitment? Because this is where where a lot of you know tell me if this tell me if this happens to you. How many people invited someone to come tonight and they didn't show up? Okay. Welcome to, to <laughs> inviting in general, not just network marketing. But, you know, people people betray their word all the time. And it's one of the most disheartening things about this. There's a, no, there's a number of reasons why we have a high attrition rate in network marketing. The number one, the rejection is number one. The number two is betrayal. <coughs> I'm being very strong in this, but when someone is says they're going to be there and they don't show up, that's a small betrayal. Right? They were not of their word. Your friendship just breaks that person. You feel it right now? Why didn't that person show up? That person is sitting somewhere else right now. I'm really glad I didn't go, and it's going kind to of like bother me about this. And the reason that that happened is you didn't create the commitment. So how do you create the commitment and make someone be a good word? If, here's the word trap that I use. Great! Thursday it is. 6.30, come and we'll try the product. It's amazing. I really, really, really love it. But look, I know you're busy. If there's any reason keyword trap. If there's any reason you would have to cancel at the last minute, tell me now. 
so we had it somewhere with, with Lucas, Lucas who came. Anyone, we did some calling last night in my session, right? And Lucas, you remember I used that word track with you? Wasn't it weird? It was weird, right? Yeah. You're like, what is he talking about? Because how are you going to know if you have to cancel at the last minute? How will you know now, right? It's completely illogical. What I'm doing, what I did last night, Lucas, was give you a chance to do a mental recheck in, in, in your mental outlook calendar. Or, or something and say, oh, I'm on deadline Friday, 9 a.m. I'm presenting. I know myself. I'm going to be working all night. I'm, I'm going to, I would cancel at the last minute, you're right. Or, oh my God, that's Nana's birthday. We're having a party with family. What I'm doing is letting Lucas off the hook. Lucas said, great, and we weren't really, you weren't on a hook, by the way. The hook was, she was going to call you the next day and confirm. Because you didn't know me from Adam, and there wasn't really, uh, we hadn't made an appointment. We just said, oh, I'm pretty sure, and I'm interested. But what I did is, if there were a hook in his mouth, I took it out and said, if there's any reason you have to cancel the last minute, tell me now. What he didn't do this because the agreement was not, oh no, it's fine. But usually with somebody you know, it's a, oh no, no, Thursday is great. Now they just put the hook in themselves. Are they going to take it out again? No. So you give them the chance, you let the fish go, the fish swims back and says, I'm on. Okay? And I hate to use the fish hook kind of thing. We're not, we're not like eating the fish or something. Hopefully we're feeding the fish and we're going to make that fish I'm very, very happy. So, um, it sounds weird. I'm glad you're here, Lucas, to agree it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> but it, create, it creates that commitment. And betrayal is reason number two why, why people quit. The attrition rate is, is dreadfully high in network marketing. Does anyone have any idea how, how bad it is in the industry at large? What would your guess is? People just go into business and quit. The, the companies won't say. You just can manage them won't say. The, the estimates are 90 to 98%. In my organization, it's about 60%. From my experience, you need to join in, you can become an executive and drop out. I'm seeing a few head nods, right? That's good. We're one of the best in the industry. It still seems very high, though, doesn't it? Do anyone know what the attrition rate is in entrepreneurship at large? People who start their own business, what happens? 80% close in the first one year of new businesses. Of those that survive, another 80% close in the next four years. Do the math, it's a 4% survival rate after five years. Anyone you know who's been, had their own business in five years, congratulate them. They've done better than cancer survivors. <laughs> you have a better chance of surviving a serious cancer than you are surviving entrepreneurship, which is why there's a low rate of entrepreneurship. It's not kiasu in Singapore. It's the fact that you're smart and understand that the, the odds are really stacked against you. So why would you take all of your life savings and your uncle Ernie's and put it into a business when you're 96% chance of never, and then you, you're out of runway? You're coming up on retirement, and you do not have enough to, to, to take off and have a nice life now. So that's why people don't do it. But there, is, there are crazy people who do it, and we admire them. And we have magazines like Millionaire Asia or whatever it is for these people. Because it is. It's real guts. Now, the, the, the good thing about network marketing and the bad thing is that it doesn't cost that much to get in. And it doesn't cost that much to get out. You haven't invested a lot in inventory. I was corrected last night. You don't have one year to return your inventory. You have 90 days. So if you lose heart, and you get rejected enough time, like twice, oh my god, and you punch out his business, there's no downside. In, in MBA speak, or strategic planning speak, this is called a low barrier to entry and a low barrier to exit business. I just want you to understand this, the dynamics of what's going on. I'm trying to be the wizard behind the curtain in, in Oz. Because a lot of things are probably bothering you. Why is this happening? Yep. 
and this is why. Because it's really easy to join and really easy to quit. People do it. People quit stuff all the time. They buy an exercise bike and it becomes a coat rack. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like there are a few coat racks in the room, right? There's, they, they join a gym.